so I thought I'd do kind of a different type of video today. Actually, I'm going to talk about several sunscreens that I love that nobody's ever heard of before. Well, probably some people have heard of it, but uh, I had never really been familiar with most of these brands until uh, a friend sent them from Japan to try them out. So quite a few uh, are from that. And then there's just a few I picked up along the way and just have never seen anyone mention them. So uh, I'm going to talk about those and I'll add some links, try to get as much information so you can try and purchase them as possible. And uh, anyway, so really quick, I want to mention I'll be talking about this more later on uh, in another video, but August is gastroparesis awareness month. It is a uh, stomach issue and people, a digestive stomach intestinal issue and a lot of people that uh, suffer from that and other gastrointestinal disorders. I'm going to be working on uh, doing some fundraising for it. A uh, big uh, subscriber, Patreon friend of mine uh, suffers from this condition. So uh, I just want to uh, point it out, make awareness for it, and I'll talk about it more soon since today is the 1st of August. So um, anyway, okay, so I know the sunscreens that I love that nobody's ever heard of. So first off, this is one of my favorites. Uh, RMK UV Face Protector. It's just a really wonderful, non-scented sunscreen, no white cast. Uh, it contains a lot of good filters. I have yet to be burned, tanned, or reddened ever using it. And uh, it's a chemical-based sunscreen. And I think it's, I think this one's made in Japan. Yep, made in Japan. So I'll try and link to uh, that. A great site for uh, Japanese and other Asian beauty, but mostly Japanese products, uh, is Japanese Taste, or it's J tasteofjapan.com, or Japanese Taste, but they have a lot of access to a lot of brands that even like uh, Yes Style uh, or Jolsey, they don't carry, so it's worth checking that site out. And dokodemo.com is another good one. Uh, D-O-K-E-M-O.com. So, if you're interested in some more J Beauty ones, those two might be the best place to go. So, okay, love that one. Next up, we've got, I did a review of this one, Nalk. This sunscreen is just, it's really wonderful. It's more of a day-to-day -day type sunscreen. It's not one I would uh, pick to be out all day, uh, but it is a really wonderful sunscreen. It's a really good one for reapplication because I find it reapplies really nicely, even if I'm wearing powder or makeup or foundation. And it's just so nice, no fragrance in it. Uh, and wonderful, works so well, and it's a good one for reapplying. There's not a lot of sunscreens that are really nice to reapply, but there are some, and this is one of them. And this other one that I'm going to mention is also another great one for reapplying, and that is the Abib uh, sun, sunscreen stick. What I really like is uh, it's super easy, so if you're traveling or if you're out and about, you're at the beach, you just take a little swipe of it and smooth it over your skin, and it's really wonderful, and it's uh, super easy to reapply, and there we go, so, there you go. Can you tell I just reapplied that at all? I mean, you probably need to get a little more liberally, but anyway. And that's over a little bit of powder and stuff. So this one for reapplication is a absolute favorite of mine, and their other sunscreen is also uh, wonderful, their Heartleaf Sun Essence. So, well worth checking out from uh, Abib. Next up, we've got, I don't know if they're still making this one or not, Parasola Lumi Skin uh, Essence. It's really wonderful. There's no fragrance in it, no denatured alcohol in this one, and it really just applies really nicely. It works well as kind of a makeup primer or base. You can apply uh, sunscreen or foundation, not sunscreen, your foundation right over it. And it's so wonderful. It comes off really easily in the shower. Uh, another one, probably not one like really high UV day type, but still just a great day-to-day -day one. So hopefully I can find it and share a link for you guys. Uh, next up, so this is a newer one to me. And at first I would say I didn't love it. I dislike the packaging immensely. Uh, but that is the Bar Centella Sun Essence. And it's just really wonderful. The package, I get what they're trying to do. Uh, I mean, it's paper, so it's going to be recyclable. But it's just not the best for traveling because it gets smushed. And then it kind of... Uh, makes a little bit of a mess, but otherwise, aside from the packaging, the formula is quite wonderful, and it has some really nice skin-soothing, redness, uh, calming ingredients in it, and uh, no scent to it, so, um, yeah, so I get what they're doing with the packaging, it's just not my favorite style, because if you were like me, and you dump it in your bag with everything else, the likelihood that this is going to get smushed or ripped is pretty high, so um, this is not one I would choose to carry around at all. Okay, next up, we've got, I know I've recommended this one to quite a few people, the Evermere Cosmetics UV Gel. 
Uh, this stuff is also really wonderful. A uh, nice one for winter. It's kind of on the hydrating side. There's no scent to it. Uh, and then if you can find it, it seems to be pretty affordable where it's sold, but that's the problem is finding it where it's sold. And that's why some of these are ones I just haven't uh, done a full review of because uh, it's going to be hard for a lot of people to find them. So anyway, but I really do love this one. So this one I pick up quite often. Okay, next up we've got the Shiseido D Barrier LA Barrier Cream. This is a mineral-based sunscreen, no fragrance in it. It does have a pretty heavy white cast, but its goal is to uh, lay nicely on your skin, provide a nice uh, mineral physical sunscreen uh, barrier, and also prevent like dust, pollution, things like that getting into your skin. Uh, well, white cast on it's pretty, pretty rough, but if you apply it like over uh, or under foundation, it t tends to work a bit better. So, and they also have an uh, essence bottle version of this one too. So. Another one that I really enjoy using. Uh, okay, next up, when all the stuff was hitting the fan with all the K-Beauty sunscreens, I was really looking for ones that were um, approved and researched and independently test tested. And this was one of the first ones that I found actually made in Korea, the Doft & Doft uh, sunscreen. It does have fragrance in it. It's not super noticeable but it is there, so if you have super sensitive skin, it might not be the best option. I don't use it all the time, but I do use it uh, occasionally, and I've never got burnt, tanned, anything like that using this one. So aside from the fragrance, it's a winner, but if they would have changed that little fragrant ingredient out, it would have been much, much more of a winner for me anyway. Okay, next up, got the Sunplay Clear Water. I have no idea. I'm going to have to check this to see if they're still making it. Uh, but if this one's really affordable. I think when I bought it, it was probably like $5. And it's a really wonderful uh, unscented sunscreen with some nice uh, filters in there. It does a really nice job. Doesn't feel greasy. Uh, probably geared more towards uh, oilier skin types but because uh, it's slightly mattifying. But it's really wonderful and really affordable. So that uh, shoots to the top of my list when something's pretty affordable. Okay, I got a couple more. Uh, the Copper Tone UV sunscreen. They had a whole collection. I think they had one in the blue, one green, and then one yellow one. This one is really nice, Copper Tone. Uh, I think this this one's another one that was made in Japan, so it's not like the Copper Tone you think Copper Tone you think of when you think of like the U.S. The Copper Tone baby, but it's really nice. The packaging is tiny. How many ounces are in it? 40, 40 ounces. So that was that like one point two ounces. Forty forty milliliters sorry so it's tiny but it is a really nice one worth trying um and then uh let's see this one's a u.s made zit sticka mega shade this one's a newer one from them i haven't seen anybody talk about it too much uh the first few times i like i tried it i kind of found it a little greasy but now that i'm using it more and more i find it to be really nice uh mineral based sunscreen and one that's readily available in the u.s if you're in the u.s it's easy to find so uh, really wonderful. I, I shouldn't say mineral. It's a combination. Uh, mineral and, and chemical. We've got zinc oxide in a very small amount and then uh, octosylate, oxinate, and then homosylate. So it's kind of a combo one. And then last but not least, this one's kind of a tone-up sunscreen, which I typically don't like too much, but this one is really nice. It kind of brightens up your skin a little bit. The, uh, the sunscreen, what do they call it? The elixir. I think it's made by Shiseido. Elixir Main Japan. I, I think Shiseido makes this. I'll double check it when I put in the link in below. But this is another one that I actually really like and I find it really uh, kind of helps just slightly even up my skin tone. And sometimes I'll wear foundation over it. Sometimes I just won't if I'm feeling lazy. So uh, another one that is uh, worth checking out. So I think I mentioned all of them. Oh, there's one more. This one might be more popular than the other ones. The SVR Sick of It. Uh, if you have acne prone skin, oily skin, even certain normal to drier skin types, this stuff is just so wonderful. So many amazing filters in it, no fragrance in it, really affordable, really available on like a lot of different websites, usually like the Hut Group websites, uh, Feel Unique, things like that. So this one is also really wonderful and really strong, does a great job um, protecting your skin from getting red or dry. So um, anyway, I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you which ones of these have you heard of and which ones haven't you heard of so uh and then if there's anything that i didn't mention that is something that you think a lot of people haven't found out about or heard about 
leave a comment and share the word on the great sunscreen you're loving right now. So anyway, thank you guys so much and I will see you more tomorrow. Okay. Thanks so much. Bye guys.